welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got in my October 2019 Ipsy bag. I'm probably like, who knows how many millionth of the person that has finally uploaded their video on this. But I really like Ipsy Unbaggings in general because everyone gets different things. The bags are so varied that it's not often that you find someone that got the exact same thing as you. So I always enjoy watching these zip unboxings or unbaggings in particular because they never really get boring. If you haven't heard of Ipsy before, it is a monthly beauty subscription box. It retails for us Canadians here. It is 12 US dollars and then it's not another, I believe, $3 American to ship to us in Canada. With the exchange rate, it usually works out to around $18 to $20, um, depending on, you know, how things fluctuate and that sort of thing. You do get five deluxe size, sample size, sometimes full size items in your bag, and you also have the option to do add-ons each month. I believe you can do up to five add-ons now, and they are between $3 and $12. Um, there might be more variations in there now, I'm not sure, but there's at least that. Each month they do have an option where you can choose one item in your bag. Um, the November option just went out yesterday, I think. So it's around, what was yesterday? The 23rd. So yeah, around the 23rd of the month, I think is when they'll send, um, if you look on your Ipsy app, it'll say, hey, the options are up. Which one would you like? And it gave a list of like six or seven maybe different variations that you or different things that you could pick you only get to pick one but out of those six or seven you get to pick one and you're guaranteed that in your bag so for the October bag this is what I picked it's a dual ended crown brush uh, it has like a nice kind of fluffy um, shader but it's nice and pinched in here and then we got more of a pencil style on this side I have used it a bunch so it is dirty it did not come disgusting that's just me um, so that was in the bag and then we also get Oh, that was outside of the bag when we got it and it does come in a bubble loop. that's gone I have no idea where it is um but it also comes with a card each month and this one is flaunted and it's got some information on here it has their social media information and then inside it just gives a little blurb on everything you got it does not give prices but it gives information in case you didn't know this month was also a Betty Boop theme so inside my box I got the Belief Believe in Truth uh, True Cream Aqua Balm. And this is just a, how big is this? 10 mil sample. Uh, it's just a facial moisturizer. Ooh, <laughs> and it smells really nice. And I don't mind getting stuff like this once in a while. I don't like getting it all the time, but I don't, I like getting it once in a while because then I don't have to go out and buy all this stuff. It just stays in my collection. The next item is by Aphrodite and it is the Secret of Natural Beauty Olive Oil Face Mask Deep Cleansing for All Skin Types Instant Hydration with Aloe Vera and spiru Spirulina Spirulina Extracts? Not sure. Uh, it looks like it's to about here full, so a couple uses out of it probably for a face mask. Then we have by Butanic Beauty. It is a lip and cheek balm and color in the mo in the sh it's a lip and cheek balm and color in the shade mauve lychee. And this is the packaging here. And I believe this is a full size item. And it's just a cream product. I haven't used this on my cheeks. I did use it on my lips the other day. And I'm gonna try it again another time because my lips were extra dry and everything when I used it and I wasn't too fond of how it looked, but I'm gonna try doing a lip scrub kind of thing and then see how this looks afterwards. I know I won't use this on my cheeks, but I don't mind having this sort of thing as a lip balm to put on my lips. If it still looks bad after I do a lip treatment, then I'll just end up passing it on to one of my girls because I'm not interested in putting this on my cheeks at all. I just, I try, I can't get into cream products. The last item that is in my regular bag is the Betty Boop and Ipsy. Um, collab that they have going on and it's That's So Betty and it's an eyeshadow. And this is the packaging. Super cute with the lips. I don't know how people have these, these claws and get anything done. I just put these on. I bought a bunch of them off of Ali, no, Amaz, no, where did I buy them? AliExpress, yeah. And I'm like, oh, these are going to be so fun. They look so pretty. I can't do anything because, like, I can't even get my... I'm going to end up digging my nail into this when I open it. Ah! Help me. What do I have to help me? <laughs> oh, there we go. I 
got it. Again, this is the shades, this is so Betty, or that's so Betty. And it's this really nice silver sparkle, but it has like a purple tint or undertone or something going through it. It's really pretty. It's It looks a little bit shocking and daring in the um, pan here. It looks like it might be a lot darker, but it actually isn't too bad. It's actually a really pretty color. And usually I don't keep stuff that comes... Uh, single shadows that come in the plastic like this because it's really hard to depot it at least for me I always end up wrecking the shadow but this is one I'm going to try and depot and try not to wreck and if I can't do it cleanly and it see I see that it's going to wreck I'll just keep it in this because this is something that is very unique I, I definitely want to keep this so that was everything for my regular bag. I did get two add-ons. I usually get brushes if I see them and indeed that is what I did this month as well. Where's the other? Oh no! Thank goodness there's carpet under me. Oh, and there goes the brush. One moment. <sighs> Cappuccino. Okay, so the first thing that I got as an add-on is just a brush. It's this crease brush, brush here. It's nice and fluffy, and it is part of the Betty Bloop. Betty Boop collab so it does have that here and then the other one for three dollars these were both three dollars is a Sigma brush and it's an E25 blending brush I should have seen if I could pick up more than one of these and I think if they have them again next month I'm going to because I love this brush I don't think I've ever had any Sigma eye brushes before and it is really nice so let me know in the comments below if you get Ipsy and what you got in this month's bag. Did you get anything similar to me? Would you have been upset if you got anything like this? Or do you wish you maybe had gotten something that I did? Like to know. As always, I will leave a link in the description box below for Ipsy's website if you want more information. And then you can go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.